Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here today, and welcome to the Seaborne Ovation. We boarded this mega yacht in Lisbon, Portugal, and we're taking a repositioning cruise to Barbados. The Seaborne Ovation was launched in 2018, and it has a capacity of about 600 passengers and 420 crew. For this particular crossing, we have about 473 passengers on board. Before we get started, we wanted to remind you that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up, commenting, or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. Today we are looking at cabin 900, an owner's suite located on deck 9, forward on the port side. The living space is very private from the hallway, not only because of the shared foyer with room 902, but also because of its location forward on deck 9. The stateroom itself is very large, with 609 square feet of living space and 778 square feet of balcony space. There is a long entry hall with marble floors, a long console and mirror on the left, a coat closet on the right, and a powder room on the right. The room is decorated in warm colors, and it is very bright due to the large number of windows that are overlooking the front of the ship. In the main living area, there is a wet bar with two stools, a dining table, a sofa, and two chairs, a desk, and a large screen television. These suites come with an enhanced bar setup with your choice of premium alcoholic beverages throughout your cruise. Under the desk is a small refrigerator, replenished with your choice of refrigerated, alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages daily. Seaborne primarily uses Coca-Cola products, but Pepsi products are available upon request. There is an in-suite, professional grade Nespresso maker included in this room. The wet bar is fully stocked with everything you'd need to enjoy your premium wine and spirit setup. This is a great spot to entertain in your suite because of the sweeping views off the front of the ship in the large windows, as well as the stools at the bar and the comfortable seating in the living area. There are two entrances to the large balcony, one in the living room and one in the bedroom. These large balconies on the front of the ship are some of the most beloved balconies, but also some of the most hated balconies on board Ovation. With 778 square feet of space, you're bound to have enough area to spread out during your cruise. And because there are no high metal railings, you're going to be able to have fabulous views. On your balcony, you will find a double chaise lounge, four chairs with ottomans, and a table. The sides of this deck are shaded. If you are traveling with family who is in room 902, ask your cabin steward to open the partition between the balconies. The front of this balcony has unobstructed views below. You are overlooking the balcony of the owner suites on deck eight, as well as the forward facing whirlpool. However, above this cabin, you do have the bridge overlooking your large balcony. Obviously, this is a concern for privacy, and in the evenings, the bridge needs the lights low for navigation. 
Other areas of concern for this type of balcony are that it is very windy when you are at sea. Generally, in the front of the ship, there is more movement and there can be noise from the anchor and forward thrusters. As we said before, there are two entrances to this large balcony, one from the main living room and one in the bedroom. This shows you the bedroom entrance, but we are going to go back through the main entrance in the living room. Across from the sofa and chairs is a large screen television. This is much larger than you will find in other suites. The television programming has an excellent selection of live channels, television on demand, and movies on demand. Also, you can find the bridge cam and on-demand selections of the onboard lectures. In the corner beside the sofa and chairs is a writing desk. This desk is near a window and it has one EU, one US outlet, and two USB outlets in the phone. The bedroom is large and private from the rest of the living area, enclosed by French doors. Inside you will find two end tables, a king-size bed that can be arranged either together or as two twins, large windows, an entrance to the balcony, a bench, and a second large screen television. On the opposite side of the room is a vanity, entrance to your walk-in closet, and your bathroom. The bathrooms are a beloved feature of all Seaborne suites. In all configurations, they are very bright and optimized for space. This suite has a walk-in shower, a separate commode, a vanity with two sinks, and a separate tub. Various scents of molten brown toiletries are available for your use throughout the cruise. The owner suite comes with full-size versions of molten brown toiletries. The owner suite comes with upgraded linens, bathrobes, and slippers. There are grab bars in the tub and in the shower. There are handheld shower nozzles in the tub as well as in the shower. Ask your cabin steward if you need a shower chair, as this could be placed in the shower or in the tub. There are no grab bars in the commode. In the shower, you will find a fixed and a handheld water nozzle. There is shelving located below the sinks and then behind the sinks, so there is plenty of storage while you're on board. There is a retractable clothesline over the tub. There is an extra vanity mirror that has a regular magnification on one side and a 10 times magnification on the other side. Obviously, you can move this around the room if you want different lighting, although the lighting in the bathroom is excellent. On all cruises, we personally bring a magnifying suction cup mirror that we can move anywhere around the room, including the bathroom, the vanity, and even the veranda doors. There are two small drawers and one extra shelf in each bed stand. There are switchable reading lights above each side of the bed. There are plenty of outlets in the room. Next to each bed is one USB-A, one USB-C, one EU, and one US outlet. On the phone next to the bed are two additional USB-A outlets. There is 13 inches of clearance under each bed so that you may store your luggage there easily. We were able to fit two rolling duffels without any difficulty. What we usually do is travel with a carry-on backpack and we usually store our carry-ons inside our rolling duffels and then place them under the bed. The wardrobe is located to the rear of the bedroom, and the walk-in closet is really one of the most beloved features of all Seaborne suites. It is spacious and well-lit. Inside you'll find multiple areas for hanging shorter and longer items, multiple hooks, a tie rack, and your plush robes and slippers will be found in here as well. There are multiple drawers in this closet, as well as a safe.
In addition, on these shelves, you will find the shoe box for complimentary shoe shine, as well as your life vests. This safe is actually smaller than the one that was located in our veranda suite. This safe would be big enough for passports, jewelry, cash, wallets, and perhaps a regular size tablet. However, you will have difficulty fitting a laptop inside this safe. Behind the door, you will find more shelves and shoe racks. There is a small television on the wall at the foot of the bed. There is a small, poorly lit vanity adjacent to the bed in the bedroom. In it, you will find a small drawer, one EU and one US outlet, and a stool. This owner suite shares a foyer with an adjacent veranda suite. This smaller veranda suite has a smaller balcony, a smaller living area, and no separate tub. Look on our channel for a full review of this smaller veranda suite. If you book this adjacent suite, be sure to ask your cabin steward to open up the partition between the balconies, if weather permits. Laundry service is not included with this cabin. You are able to send out laundry from this level of cabin for a fee. Some levels of Seaborn Club membership do have free laundry services. However, there is complimentary laundry facilities located on this ship on deck five. There are plenty of washers and dryers, irons, free detergent, as well as a steamer. Each cabin comes with a setup of Montadon Champagne on arrival. 24 hour room service is available and is complimentary. Door hangers are available to put out your breakfast order the night before, but we found the morning service to be so quick that we were able to order our coffee and morning breakfast and receive it in under 30 minutes every time. Complimentary coffee drinks are available throughout the day in the Seaborn Square. Occasionally there is a short line to get a coffee. And an insider tip is to pre-order your coffee order on the Seaborn app. Then you can skip the line and pick up your order at the designated location. Each suite comes with a pillow menu where you can choose extra firm, firm, or soft pillows. With each owner suite, you will have a personal suite host as well as a suite attendant. Your host and attendant will do things such as welcome you with champagne and hors d'oeuvres, personalize your nightly turndown service, assist you with any special requests, manage your laundry service needs, replenish your ice and bar setup, and even draw you a pure pampering bath on request. Each owner's suite comes with an unlimited internet streaming Wi-Fi package. The streaming Wi-Fi package was excellent and we were able to conduct Zoom calls in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on our repositioning cruise. This is because every ship in the Seaborne fleet is equipped with Starlink. Each owner's suite has additional benefits as well. You'll find a welcome bouquet of flowers, as well as a large fruit selection replenished throughout your cruise. Each owner's suite comes with Swarovski optique binoculars for use during your voyage, as well as a complimentary private car airport transfer of up to 50 miles. Overall, we feel that this owner's suite is a beautiful suite with lots of living space and an enormous balcony. Its forward location has privacy from the hallways, lots of windows, and comfort for your home away from home. However, it may have some drawbacks such as strong winds when at sea, the possibility of more movement and noise at the front of the ship, and a lack of privacy on the balcony under the Ovations Bridge. So what do you think? 
Let us know in the comments below. We hope you're enjoying our review of the Seaborn Ovation. Look for more reviews on this magnificent ship, as well as cabins and other information. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. We hope you're enjoying our review of the Seaborn Ovation, and we'll see you next time.